apart from that, the second thing that we want to do, and not because it's any less important, uh, because it's extremely important, is to get your value system in place. You know, if I were to say to you, give me your top four values right now, a lot of people are going to go, oh, you get the deer in the headlights. And it's like, gosh, I don't even know if I know what values are. Or like, what's a value and what's a value system? I'll tell you what I created. And everyone is more than, uh, I'm happy to share this with anyone. Please adopt it if you feel like you'd like to. I take the high road. I take the high road. I try to take the high road in everything that I do. Again, I'm human and I'm at, I, I, I fault. I don't always hit the mark, but my, my mission is to always hit the mark. The high road is this, honesty, integrity, gratitude, and honor. And if I can come to the table every day with that as my blueprint, I will tell you that that is a hill I am ready to die on. I will come with radical honesty. I will come with integrity. I will come with well gratitude. I'm gra- grateful for things all day. It's funny. We're we're coming just now on on uh, Thanksgiving week. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I will always be gratitude. I, I have ten things I could rattle off right now. Boom that I am grateful for. And then the last piece is honor. You know, honor, we usually think about more as a military term, but honor really is so much more than that, isn't it? It's who are you when no one else is in the room? It's, um, you know, who are you when you're untangling, you know, the Christmas lights? Like, what's your real pure character? Um, Honoring is loyalty. Loyalty, here's another saying that I love, is loyalty is when you have my back behind my back. Loyalty is when I have your back behind your back. And so, you know, go when you're at the cool, the water cooler and everybody's, you know, dishing on Suzy Q, are you dish? Are you going to foment with the tribe? Are you going to foment with, with, with the group, right? With the pack and say, oh yeah, I know she's really awful and horrible. Or are you going to say, hey, guys, I know Suzy Q and you know what? I think she's great. Maybe she's just having a bad day today. Maybe she just needs a hug. Maybe she needs some understanding and some love. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't some difficult people in the world because there are, but most difficult people will, will sort of, they'll, they'll round their edges a little bit. Their edges will become a little bit softer when, you know, you, you love them through it and, you know, be the first to say, I'm sorry, there's nothing wrong with, with an apology. In fact, as I said before, no blame, no shame, and no guilt. If you can come to the table and even if you know, and you swallow your pride and you say, I know I wasn't wrong here. I don't feel like I was wrong here, but okay. I, I, let, let me offer up this. Who is it? Who is it that comes to mind right now, Gina, for you? You have to answer the question, but who is it that comes to mind when I say, who do you probably ha- have to make an apology to? Or at least who do you know in your heart of hearts? You should probably pick up a phone and call. Maybe yeah. they were wrong. Maybe they were wrong. But could things be fixed with a simple phone call and a hey, can we talk? Because this is not a phone call about who's right and who's wrong. This is a phone call about I miss you. Can we fix this? So, you know, again, that is being that is doing the honorable thing, right? That and, and you, you and it's scary. And again, remember I talked about courage. It's scary, but you're never going to know until you know. You might get a negative response and go, no, thanks, not interested in a relationship with you. Okay, now I know. Mm -hmm. I'll miss you and I love you and I wish you all the best. Off you go. It's going to hurt, but you'll get through it, right? So honor is, is one of those kind of things that, you know, it really... It really is one of those kind of things we need to bring back to the to the table. You know, we need to be doing, you know, especially in today's day and age, it's a, it's a harder thing to teach and preach today than, you know, but if we were to really come to the table, imagine if everybody came tomorrow, we wake up, uh, Gina, and the whole world is honest. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine in what kind of world we would live? If everyone lived in integrity, oh my goodness, what kind of relationships would we be living? You know, gratitude, if everybody was grateful. Wow. You know, and if everybody lived with honor, doing the right thing, doing the respectable thing, doing the, you know, standing on principle, right? Mm -hmm. It would be a really, really great thing. That's beautiful. Yes. I love all of those. Wow. You've actually answered all the questions that I was going to ask. And some I'm like, wow, this is great. And I'm going to re-listen to my podcast and even take better notes. (laughs) This is amazing. (laughs) 